Where to sleep with great view in Patong. Hello, welcome to Where to Phuket. When you consider booking a hotel in Patong, you've got roughly two options. One is on the ground level by the sea and uh, where it's closer to the action or if you want a quieter area then you may choose uh, Kalim or Dry Trang. Uh, Dry Trang, another name uh, is known as Paradise Beach. Uh, these two are uh, further from the main Patong area and it's on the hill so you would be rewarded with a great view. So in this clip I will introduce you to a hotel called Crest. It's uh, on the Tritang area and uh, the reason we book uh, one, uh, the view is wonderful that I will show you later and two, good price. We paid um, 70, 80 US dollars uh, including breakfast for two. So now let's take a look at the room. Tonight we stay at room 3311. Come in. Big bed, nice decoration. And the most important thing is the view. So we have a uh, view of the sea, uh, this side and also this side. In fact, it's just uh, all the sea except with this uh, little hill in the front that uh, separates them in two. Nice. I wish we would have a clear sky so that we could see a nice sunset, but not so sure. Let's see. Morning, it's time for breakfast. Now here's my comment after spending one night in the deluxe sea view room, uh, costing 70 US dollars roughly, including breakfast for two. Uh, three things I like, two mixed and two that I don't quite like. Now what I like number one is the design. This place is kind of like uh, having two buildings uh, on a hill and uh, between the two there are bridge uh, to connect and uh, it feels like uh, you need to have a little walk to get familiar with the surrounding which is quite fun to, to look for the angle uh, for taking pictures. I think uh, I enjoy that and uh, the design is like having a bridge connecting uh, not only the two buildings but also uh, they have waters uh, like swimming pool around with some bridge it looks a bit like uh, Venice which is nice and also the infinity pool uh, overlooking the, the hill and the sea is also quite wonderful uh, so those are good things uh, number two is the comfort in the room uh, the room is big, the bed is quite big, I think it's like a uh, grand king size, it's more like uh, uh, the twins putting together, so it's uh, spacious and uh, the shower is okay, uh, not so strong but okay, good Wi-Fi and big mirror, <laughs> it's so big and uh, I like it. And they also give, uh, well, standard two bottles of water, but you can always ask for more for free. So I think that's a good thing because most hotels, they only give you two bottles. And when the weather is so hot, then uh, it's not enough. Now the third thing is the view. You may be surprised that it's not number one, it's only number three. Because uh, it's high on the hill, we see the wonderful sea view. But it's always something blocking, like if you look, Ahead, there's an ugly white building in the front, which is not so nice, and uh, and it's also unfortunate that the, for the the sea panorama, it has this hill in the middle, so you have a little sea here and sea there. Um, 
so it's it's beautiful it's nice but it's not wow it's not like uh, when you're in uh, Kalima it's like the full sea view and you see two beaches which is extraordinary here is okay it's not that great now two things that I have mixed feelings one is the breakfast well the breakfast restaurant is nice because you get to see the view and the selection is okay it's standard it's not bad but not not outstanding and the quality also is just average but if you consider the price then it's okay it's acceptable and the second thing is that when you walk around you see uh, rooms uh, people hanging or drying their clothes uh, swimwear even underwear oh, no. it's like uh, when you try to look for a nice angle and with the rooms and you see all these items it's not that pleasant but it's it's not hotel's fault because it's people's behavior but on the other hand maybe it's the side effect of the nice design that they have that people have no choice but to hang their uh, clothes uh, in their balcony so uh, everyone that walk around would see it so it's mixed feeling it's not the bad thing it's just you know now the two things that I don't quite like uh, now the two things that I like a little less number one uh, maintenance uh, I understand that this is after the pandemic and business start to pick up maybe they are short of staff or they don't have really the budget they want to uh, bring in cash as much as possible before making any expense but when you walk around you will see that there are some uh, dirty painting on the wall or um, looks like uh, it needs some attention so I hope that uh, after uh, tourism has been better for quite some time then they will start uh, fixing it because when we pay um, very attractive price but when we look around it's kind of sure that yeah that's why the price is at this level because uh, now it's already not low season it's like a shoulder season it's uh, early May uh, lots of public holiday for Thai people so uh, it's not the time when the price is the lowest but they still sell at this rate so I think uh, yeah if they improve then the price could go higher and the second thing it's very minor but it just happened to uh, affect me is that uh, I usually work in the room so a table with the chair is nice but here uh, the, either the chair is too low or the table is too high so it's not really uh, in a good posture for working so I better uh, sit on the bed instead I think they just don't have the right mix of the you know, working table that's all Another thing worth mentioning is that this hotel has a lot of steps so for the elderly person or the one who has problem with walking, beware. Alright, I hope you find this clip useful and if so, please click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.